Hey there. I just wanted to go over a few things about the punch cards for our uh, knit along, punch along event that Anne has um, created. We're going to work on punch card one. This is a Toyota card. And then we have the brother card and a silver reed card. All the same when it comes to number one. However, silver reed starts in a different position. So you'll notice on all the cards, they have these two rows down here that are punched all the way across. Brother and Toyota, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they will start on that eighth row above, or actually between the seventh and the eighth. So your line will be right there. And so you could see the one just popping out of the feeder. Okay, so that's brother. Toyota is the same. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you would start on one. All of your silver reed type machines, such as the Studio, the Singer, Ricard, Knitmaster, Impezel, Silver, all of them will start five rows below. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then so between five and six, you would be right underneath the one. So if you were using a Brother or Toyota on a Silver Reed machine, you would start two below, so between here and here. I don't know if that. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm gonna put this in here. Had a tough with my motor drive on here, but I'm gonna use it partially because I've wrecked my back once again. And we're just about to have some help from the cat. So the cat's gotta go. Just a minute. Sorry, kitty. Not this time. Okay, sorry about that. We are going to put the clips in on the back one and then the front and on this side on this side same way My grandson doesn't know what I said when I threw the cat into his room. <laughs> he doesn't realize that I'm recording. Okay, so then we're gonna lock the card. I need to cast on. And I've got needles 35 zero to 35, 35 right to 35 left. And I'm going to just bring it across and find my ravel cord. Now, the only time this cast on is good is if you're not gonna keep the item because it will unravel very easily. 
but when I'm doing something quick, this is the easiest for me. And then I just knit across. When I do this also, I have the, weave the weaving brushes down so that it will actually stay on the bed. Let's see if I can. All right, one more. Okay, so then, um, going to use my Toyota cast on comb because it weighs more and it sticks in this better. good to go. Okay, now, I don't know if I want to do that. We'll just leave that for now. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is tuck stitch and so we've got the card at one. We've got it locked. Over here on the carriage, each side, you're gonna wanna put the side levers back. And what that does is that will read the card. And then your tuck levers, or not tuck levers, your rustle levers will be on two. We do not need these down. And you're just gonna wanna knit across to read the card. show you here so back both levers back these are on number two and now we're going to set the card right here there's two options so you have locked and unlocked and here you have L for long and S for standard and we're keeping it at S currently and it's unlocked and we're going to push it to tuck okay This is tuck. Let me show you. Stocking it. There's tuck and slip and intarsia. There you go. Also, this would be fair isle over here and tuck lace, right? Or not tuck lace, but um, thread lace or punch lace right here. Okay, I'm keeping it there though. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to where it's not so dark. And we're going to knit across. I'll 
show you. Real quick. What the stitches are gonna look like. Okay, so you got knit, tuck, knit, tuck. All the way across. Okay. For just a minute and let this go for a few more rows. Set it back to stockinette. And I'm going to knit a couple rows. I'm going to lock the punch card. And then I'm going to show you if we had it on L for uh, the elongated stitch, which what L, L does is um, instead of knitting every row, it's going to knit each row twice or on the card, okay? so it will lengthen it. A lot of tuck stitch uh, cards you may not want to do that with. However, the, the number one card, you can actually do it and it looks nice. Let's see, put it back on tuck now that I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. And, um, Well, no, I want to do a couple stitches. Sorry, I'm losing my train of thought. So we're gonna do stockinette for a couple rows and then we'll switch. Oop, one more. Okay, we're going to read the card. Levers are still back, but um, normally I would have had them forward. Okay, now I'm going to switch it to tuck again. And it's on L. So. Now we are forward on L, and we're going to unlock the card. Sorry, I've got stuff on the floor here. I've got extension cords that the tripod's getting stuck on. Okay, so tuck, long, off, ready, sit, and here we go. Now one thing I do want to do, since it is an elongated stitch, I'm going to actually add weights to my cast on comb because tuck stitch has a habit of jumping off the needles if, if it has the chance. Now if you are using like the bulky machine, it actually has tuck brushes that come with the carriage and sinker plate and they would slide right onto the sides of the sinker plate. But, okay, so here we go. Maybe 
I can show you the stitches. So this is the elongated stitch and then the smaller stitch. I'll show you when I take the swatch off, but this gives you an idea. It makes a really nice baby blanket and especially on the bulky, but either one does well. This yarn that I'm using actually has nylon in it, so it's really stretchy. So, um, like this. This has got tons of stretch. But, okay, so let's do some stockinette. And then we're going to do some slip stitch. So, I'm going to... Switch back to stockinette. I'm going to pull my side levers forward, and that way it doesn't have the pattern in anymore. And let's see, stockinette. I'm going to even lock the card just so it's out of the way. And milk my yarn. Okay, here we go. Okay, that light seems too bright. Okay, um, so now we're going to read the card. We want it locked and we want it back on standard okay the s not the l and actually i'm going to move the card back to one because normally you would but because this is just the same pattern over and over and over it really doesn't matter okay so we're on one we're going to put our side levers We're putting our side levers back on both sides and we're going to knit across. All right, so now it's red. Back here, we're gonna, okay, side levers are back. Now we're gonna go to slip. And we're going to unlock the punch card. Release it right here, okay. And anything else? We're on slip, ready to go. If you'll notice here, well, you can't see right now, but it actually makes the fabric narrower, whereas tuck will knit wider but shorter. So uh, the slip seems to be narrower and shorter as well as stockinette. Um, but so always narrower though and tighter. Sometimes I actually will raise the, the tension, uh, the tension dial, and let's do that. Let's move the stitch cam to like a seven now, just so you can see. I don't know if it'll really make that big of a difference, but um, here we go. Let's see if I can get this a little closer. 
that light. I don't. Trying not to. Okay. So, with slip stitch, that's still really tight. One thing I want to show you is you can actually use it as an embellishment. Like, if you see these, I did slip stitches here, and then I actually put the card on hold here and here. And on the back, it kind of shows there. And then here, I put the card on hold and I did it, oh, I don't know, five to seven times. And then I started going again. But this is what it looks like on the back side. It's amazing the different things you can do just by stopping your card. So let's, we're gonna put it in stockinette for a minute. Now I'm gonna put it back to slip And I'm gonna set the card to hold. And I'm gonna do it like, let's say, five. Now let me show you. This is what it looks like when you do that on the machine. You don't want to do it too many times because they'll start popping off the, uh, the, the needles. But, okay, so now I'm going to do stocking it again. So I've switched this back to stocking it. <laughs> 